Hello and welcome back to Freestad. This instruction video is going to guide you through the Members Design page and some of its features. In order to access the Members Design page, you first need to register and then log in. Once you've registered, you'll have a username and password. From the home page, you simply enter these like so and click login. You're then redirected to the Members Design page, like this. Here, similar to the Free Design page, there's a simple free step process for designing beams and other elements. Depending on when you're watching this, other beams and elements and materials may be available currently. So let's have a look at the Members Design page. First of all, you simply select an element type. Let's say, for example, <coughs> we want to design an encastre or fixed end beam. As you can see in the Members Design page, all of the load cases are now available. So let's select a load case. Say we've got two point loads in unsymmetrical locations. We have the option here to select laterally restrained or not. Let's assume for now that it is. Now, similarly to the free, free design page, we can set up some loads and dimensions. So let's say that it's a three meter beam. Let's assume that dimension A here is, say, half a meter. And let's assume that dimension B is one meter. There's no need to enter dimension C. Freestyle will work that out automatically. Because this is a point load load case, the loaded width is not really applicable, so it's greyed out and you can't enter any information here. Then you can simply enter some loads. Note that on the members design page you can also enter a, so a snow load. This will also be taken into account within the load combinations for either British standards and Euro codes. So let's enter a snow load. There. Moving over, you'll see that the Members Design page has an additional section for information. Here you can select a standard deflection criteria. We selected an encastre beam. And the standard deflection criteria options are any beam or brittle finish. Let's say that any beam suits us. Below this, you then have selections based on the materials that you want to design. So for now, let's look at steel and timber design. From this page, you can either turn them off or turn them on. You're, of course, perfectly welcome to keep them both on. If you are really only interested in a steel beam, for example, then you might save a few seconds by simply turning off the timber design and then the server doesn't have to carry out the timber design. If you're interested in a comparison of both, then simply leave it on. Below the timber selection here, you'll see there's some other loading criteria and different options that you can select. So, you can have any of these five loading criteria. And for British Standard Imposed Load, we can set a duration term for that. And for the Eurocode variable action, which is equivalent to the British Standard Imposed Load, you can also set a load type. So that's steel and timber. Let's say we want to leave them both on so we get a comparison and we've entered all the information we know. As normal, we can now either click on the Next button or the Step 2 Selection tab. Let's do that now. At which point that information is sent to the server and the server carries out the design for a number of steel and timber sections. Here you'll notice another difference between the Members Design page and the Free Design page. The Members Design page here gives you the option to filter 
the information that's in the table at the bottom. So for example here, we can simply turn off all of the timber sections that are in the, steel in, in, in the uh, selection table at the bottom here, or we can turn them back on. Similarly, we can turn off all the steel sections, and we're simply left with timber sections down here. At any point, there's a, a total count of number of sections shown in the table below. So at the moment, we're currently showing 1,363 different timber sections in this table below. We're not showing any steel at the moment, but if we turn it back on, we're now showing 763 additional steel sections in this table below here. As well as, as, well as switching off the timber and steel completely, you can filter by grade, code of practice, member type. For example, if we wanted to narrow down our search, to a timber section, then we could turn off the steel, like so. Let's say, for example, we're only interested in Eurocode designs, we can turn off all the British standard designs that work, like so. As you can see, we're now left in the Code of Practice column with only Eurocode 5 designs. And let's say we're only really interested in a tropical hardwood, so we want one of the D grades, we can turn off all of the softwoods, all of the sea grades, we can turn off all of the oaks and all of the green oaks. So now we can see we're left with 197 available timber tropical hardwood sections. We can filter this even further, say for example we're only interested in some of the weaker tropical hardwoods, we could turn off D70, D60 and D50 for example and we can see that we're still left with 197 available steel sections. This is because, and this is a fairly important point here, if a section, looking in the section table here, a section for example works at grade D30 for a section size 44 by 72, if it works in D30, this is the lowest grade that it'll work in. It'll also therefore work no doubt, in grades D40, D50, D60 and D70, however these aren't shown in the table. So this table effectively shows the lowest grade that will work for different sizes of timber and steel to Eurocodes and British standards. <coughs> so we filtered our results and we can sort the table below and at any point you can see whether it's ascending or descending and what you've sorted by and how many sections you're looking at. We're currently looking at the top 25 sections. We can increase this to the top 50 sections just to give us a larger table to sort through. We can increase this to the 100 sections or all available sections if we wish. The more sections you have in this table and depending on your computer the longer it'll take to sort this table. But generally it's quite quick. Let me show you, for example, if I select all, so I'm now showing 197 sections, all sections, and I sort by depth, it's sorted there. So now you can simply either select any of the sections that you've narrowed down, that you might like, or if you wish, Below this, you can choose any specific section. You can do so in either timber or steel. Let me say, if we, if we select steel here, the drop-down box is changed to suit. We can then choose whichever British, uh, British standard or Euro code we might want. Any grade available. And you're given a list of available sections. Occasionally you can choose major <coughs> and or the minor axis. For Euro codes, the major axis is only available. This section at the bottom allows you to check a section that will probably fail. Therefore, if you're checking an existing calculation or a steel beam, for example, that's already in situ, you can enter the information in step one. 
Come through to the design section step 2, enter the size of the existing beam and then see the results for that beam. This will give you an indication of where the beam fails and by how much. I'll do this in a second. But now I'm going to go back to the design section table in the middle. These are the sections that work with the lowest grade, remember? So let's choose the top section here, which happens to be a grade D35, 22 by 100 timber section, designed to Euroco 5. If I click step 3, or the results tab at the bottom, the calculations come through like this. As ever, there are boxes at the top where you can enter information, or you can leave this blank to be filled in later. And here we have uh, timber euro code calculations with load case analysis, your deflection calculation, shear calculations, moment calculations, and a final utilization tech. Of course, I can print this, these calculations if I want to. Or I can go back, and perhaps I want to check an existing steel beam to Eurocode 3. I've either discovered or assumed that it's in grade S275. And let's choose a relatively small beam in its major axis, and see if that works. We simply click on step 3. The design is carried out, and we have the results here. If you scroll down the page, if this beam fails in any particular case, there'll be an alert in red. You can see from a quick study that this beam does not fail. In fact, the utilization check shows that it's, in fact, well in. You can, of course, come back to step two, choose any other beam. For example, you could turn steel back on. There we are with steel. Remember, we're looking at all the sections. We could reduce this down to 25 if we wanted. Sort by mass, for example. So we're now sorting by mass, ascending. 20 by 20 by 2 square hollow section in grade S355. It's a British standard. You can click through to results. And our results page is automatically updated with British standard calculations, and, as usual, a final utilization check. From here you can print as normal to either PDF drivers or standard printers, whatever you've got attached to your computer, or you can go back to step one and start all over again. That's about it as an introduction to the member's design page. Thank you very much for watching. There are other instruction videos available. Please feel free to contact us at our email, which is contact at freestad.com. Thank you for listening. Thanks very much.